Hi, I am Edward John from the Virtual Tutor Series Project. I wish to welcome you to our video series on the solutions to past BEC questions. In this video, I am going to walk you through the solutions to the 1990 mathematics questions, focusing on part one, which is the objective component. Solutions to part two, or theory component of the 1990 mathematics questions are presented in a separate video. All our videos can be accessed on the TVTL's YouTube channel. If you need CD, DVD, or pen draft versions of any of our videos, kindly contact us on the number below. Without much ado, let's head straight to the classroom. Question 1. Set P is equal to 7, 9, and 13. And set Q is equal to 1, 7, and 13. Find P intersection Q. Solution. We have been given set P as 7, 9, and 13. And set Q as 1, 7, and 13. P intersection Q is a set of elements that are common to both P and Q. It can be seen that 7 and 13 are common to both P and Q. Therefore, P intersection Q is a set that contains the element 7 and 13. So, the correct answer is option C. Question 2. In the diagram, Q is a set of numbers inside the circle and T is a set of numbers inside the rectangle. Find Q union T. Solution. We have been given set Q to be 3, 4, and 5 and set T to be 5, 6, and 7. Q union T is a set of elements that can be found in Q only, both Q and T, and T only. Therefore, Q union T is a set that contains the element 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Hence, the option E is the correct answer. Question 3. Given that 23 times 82 times 79 is equal to 148,994, find the exact value of 2.3 times 82 times 7.9. Solution. We have 23 times 82 times 79 to be 148,994. And we are told to find the value of the product of 2.382 and 7.9. The only difference between the first expression and the second expression is the introduction of two decimal points in the second expression. Therefore, we need to move the decimal point two digits backward. This gives us 1489.9. Therefore, the product of 2.382 and 7.9 is 1489.94. So the right answer is option C. Question 4. Convert 25 base 10 to a base 2 numeral. We need to construct our base 10 to base 2 numeral conversion table with columns for the base 
number and remainder. We have the number to be 25 and the base to be 2. Now, 2 into 25 is 12 with a remainder of 1. 2 into 12 is 6 with a remainder of 0. 2 into 6 is 3 with a remainder of 0. 2 into 3 is 1 with a remainder of 1. The division is exhausted at 1. Therefore, we work, we work upward from 1. Thus, 25 base 10 is equal to 11001 base 2. Therefore, the correct answer is option D. Question 5. If 3.14 times 18 times 17.5 is equal to 3.14 times 3a times 17.5, find the value of a. Solution. Here is our problem. Bracket opens 3.14 times 18 bracket close by 17.5. Is equivalent to 3.14 by into bracket 3a by 17.5 bracket closed. Matching the numbers, we notice that 18 has been replaced by 3a. This implies that 3a is equal to 18. We solve for a by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. This gives us 18 over 3. 18 divided by 3 is a, is 6. Therefore, a is equal to 6. So the right answer is option C. Question 6. If 26,039 oranges are shared equally among 13 women, how many oranges does each woman receive? Solution. We have the total number of oranges shared to be 26,039 and the total number of women to be 13. To determine the number of oranges that each woman received, we need to divide the total number of oranges by the total number of women. That is 26,039 divided by 13. This results in 2,003 oranges. Therefore, the correct answer is option D. Question 7. Mr. Mensah withdrew some money from the bank. He gave half of it to his son and one third to his daughter. If he had 500 cities left, how much did he take from the bank? Solution. Let's use X to represent the total amount of money withdrawn from the bank. From the narration, half of the total amount withdrawn was given to the son. Therefore, the son got half of x. We are also told that one third of the total amount was given to the daughter. This means that the daughter had one third of x. To determine the amount left, we need to deduct the amount given to the son and daughter from the total amount withdrawn. So we have x minus into bracket half of x plus one third of x. This gives us x minus 5 over 6x. This can further be simplified as x over 6. So the amount of money left is x over 6. Meanwhile, 
we have been told that the amount left was 500 CDs. This implies that x over 6 is equal to 500. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 6 gives us x is equal to 500 CDs times 6. 500 CDs times 6 is 3,000 CDs. Therefore, the total amount withdrawn from the bank is 3,000 CDs. So, the right answer, therefore, is option E. Question, C. Question 8. Simplify half into bracket 1 and half plus 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 4 bracket close. Solution. We have half into bracket 1 and half plus 3 quarter divided by 1 quarter. Here we use board mass by considering bracket first followed by of division, multiplication, addition and then subtraction. We change the division within the bracket into multiplication by finding the reciprocal of 1 over 4. The reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1 or 4. We also need to change the mixed fraction 1 and half to improper fraction. So we have half into bracket 3 over 2 plus 3 over 4 times 4 over 1. Simplifying this, we have half into bracket 3 over 2 plus 3 over 1. We simplify further to have half times 6 over 2. This gives us 3 over 2, which is equivalent to 1 and half. Therefore, the correct answer is option A. Question 9. If 21 is to 2x is equal to 7 is to 10, find x. Solution. We have 21 is to 2x to be equivalent to 7 is to 10. This can be rewritten as 21 over 2x is equal to 7 over 10. We close multiply. This gives us 21 times 10 is equal to 7 times 2x. We solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by the product of 7 and 2. Therefore, we have x to be equal to 15. And the correct answer is option C. Question 10. X is a point on the line segment AB such that the length of AB is equal to 10 centimeters and the length of AX is equal to 4 centimeters. Find the ratio AX is to XB. Solution. We have the length of AB to be 10 centimeters and the length of AX to be 4 centimeters. To determine the length of XB, we need to deduct the length of AX from the length of AB. So we have 10 centimeters minus 4 centimeters. This result in 6 centimeters. Therefore, the ratio of length AX 
and length xb is 4 centimeters is to 6 centimeters. 2 into 4 is 2 and 2 into 6 is 3. So we have 2 is to 3. Hence the correct answer is option E. Question 11. In an examination, 60% of the candidate passed. The number that passed was 240. How many candidates failed? Solution. We have been told that 60% of the candidates passed the examination. This 60% corresponds to 240 candidates. Since 60% of the candidate passed, it follows that 40% failed. Note, since the percentage of candidates that failed is lesser, it implies that the corresponding number of candidates that failed will be lesser. If less, more divide. Therefore, the number of candidates that failed is 40 over 60 times 240. This gives us 160 candidates. Hence, option B is the correct answer. Question 12. A table which cost 2,400 CDs to manufacture was sold for 3,000 CDs. Find the profit percent. Solution. The cost price of the table is given as 2,400 CDs. And the selling price is given as 3,000 CDs. The profit is the excess of the selling price over the cost price. In other words, the profit is the selling price minus the cost price. This is equal to 3,000 CDs minus 2,000 CDs. This results in 600 CDs. The profit percent is the profit divided by the cost price times 100. So the profit percent is 600 CDs over 2,400 CDs times 100. This gives us 25%. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. Question 13. If A is equal to 2 exponent 2 times 2 exponent 3 divided by 2 exponent 4, find the value of A. Solution. We are given A to be equal to 2 exponent 2 times 2 exponent 3 divided by 2 exponent 4. Multiplication of indices of the same base results in the addition of the exponents. And division of indices of the same base results in the subtraction of the exponents. Therefore, we have to a to be equal to 2 exponents into bracket 2 plus 3 minus 4, bracket close. 2 plus 3 is 5, so we have a to be equal to 2 exponent into bracket 5 minus 4, bracket close. 5 minus 4 gives us 1, therefore we have a to be equal to 2 exponent 1. 2 exponent 1 is the same thing as 2. 
Therefore, the correct answer is option D. Question 14. The distance between two towns is 12,875 kilometers. Express this distance in standard form. Solution. Here is our distance. Hint. Move the decimal point in front of the last digit and place it in front of the first digit. Each movement is a multiple of 10. A movement from right to left is positive, whilst a movement from left to right is negative. So, here is our number again. 12,875. So our first move, second move, third move, and a fourth move. This gives us 1.2875. Therefore, 12,875 km is equal to 1.2875 times 10 exponent 4 km. Remember that a movement of the decimal point from right to left is positive. Hence, we multiply by 10 exponent 4. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. The power chart shows the monthly expenditure of Mr. A, whose monthly income is 18,000 cities. Use the power chart to answer questions 15 to 17. Question 15. What fraction of Mr. A's income is spent on food? Solution. The angle representing food is 120, as can be observed on the power chart. The total angle in a circle is 360. Therefore, the angle representing the total monthly income is 360 degrees. Hence, the fraction of Mr. A's income spent on food is 120 degrees over 360 degrees. This gives us 1 over 3. So, the correct answer is option C. Question 16. How much does Mr. A spend on rent? Solution. Here is our power chart. Now, we have the total monthly income of Mr. A as 18,000 cities, according to the narration. It could also be observed from the power chart that the angle representing rent is 90 degrees. To determine how much Mr. A spent on rent, we need to divide the angle representing rent by the angle representing the total income and multiply the result by the total income. So we have 90 degrees over 360 degrees times 18,000 cities. This results in 4,500 cities. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Question 17. What is the size of the angle that represents savings? Solution. Here is our power chart 
again. Angle representing the total monthly income is 360 degrees. Now, the size of the angle that represents saving can be calculated by deducting the known angles from 360 degrees. So the size of angle representing savings is 360 degrees minus 120 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 50 degrees. This gives us 360 degrees minus 320 degrees. This results in 40 degrees. Therefore, the correct answer is option A. Question 18. Find the missing addend. 20.45 plus star star point star star plus 19.18 resulting in 44.30 solution we have our number here let's assign the letters a b c and d to the numbers The summation of A, B, and C will give D. Now, let's substitute the respective numbers and solve for B, which is the missing number. So we have 20.45 plus B plus 19.18 is equal to 44.30. Twenty point four five plus nineteen point one eight is thirty nine point six three. Therefore, we have thirty nine point six three plus B to be equal to forty four point three zero. Now we so we substitute we subtract. 39.63 from both sides of the equation. This gives us B to be equal to 44.30 minus 39.63. Therefore, B is equal to 4.67. So the correct answer is option E. Question 19. Remove the brackets. A minus 2 into B minus 3C bracket close. Solution. Now we have the expression A minus 2 into bracket B minus 3C. We need to distribute minus 2 over b and minus 3c. 2 times b is minus 2b and minus 2 times minus 3c is 6c. So we have a minus 2b plus 6c. Note that negative times negative gives us positive. Negative times positive gives negative. And positive times positive gives positive. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. Question 20. 
simplify 2a over 3 minus a minus b all over 2. Solution. Here is our expression. 2a over 3 minus a minus b all over 2. We need to find the lowest common multiple or LCM. The LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. Now, 3 into 6 is 2. And 2 by 2a is 4a. Again, 2 into 6 is 3. So we have 4a 